welcome to the project demonstration of vehicle to vehicle communication using li-fi technology so here uh, the main uh, communication uh, module is li-fi using light light fidelity we are going to sending the data from vehicle 1 to the vehicle so means vehicle to vehicle communication by using the li-fi technology so here the communication uh, uh, data is whenever the obstacle is detected from this vehicle side then it will inform to the back side vehicle through the li-fi technology and at this vehicle 2 we will get the audible alerts through this api 33a3 voice module at the same time obstacle detection emergency whenever this particular vehicle in emergency then when you press the button then it will inform to this vehicle or uh, there is a uh, person inside this vehicle is an emergency and accident alerts so if there is any accident detected then the system will provide us the uh, accident detection with the help of this vibration sensor and fire as well as any harmful gas leakage detection so totally we are making use of these four sensors along with the fifth input from the switch to the arduino uno board and from there the data will be transmitted to the li-fi technology using leds and here the solar panel is interfaced to the arduino uno board where the data is received and it will be processed and based on the data process it will provide us the audible alert through this api 3383 voice module and the so-called so status continuously displayed on the 16 by 2 lcd screen in both end so here we can see the gas level and the distance of the obstacle and the fire status 0 and uh, AC nothing but accident detection 0 and emergency when we press the button so here while we demonstrating the project we should keep the kit at the distance of around 9 to 8 inches in the same manner uh, the light should be fall on the solar panel in perpendicular manner so while we are testing that we should adjust the distance one by one and once uh, the distance was matched then the light will be fall on the solar panel parallelly and then we will get the audible alerts so now let us see the demonstration Right. Okay. And next. Emergency alert. Accident alert. Right. So, pressing that, the uh, the sensor will vibrates. You can see the accident one also over here. You can see the right okay more vibrations as well as same for the fire also right now let us press this okay same thing here. you can see the fire is zero so what is there you can see the fire one and the same for the gas also. So you can see the gas will be increased here values. Right. Okay, so in this manner all these five parameters continuously transmitting from vehicle 1 to the vehicle 2 using this light uh, fidelity uh, technology. Coming to the battery, so here uh, they are using the battery which is rechargeable batteries. So in order to recharge the batteries, connect the batteries at the given charger. So we are going to provide this charging circuit and uh, keep the battery charging before demonstration. So once we connect the battery, it will take around uh, 4 hours to be fully charged maximum. And also same battery 1 and battery 2 be, should be charged with the help of this transformer charging circuit. So here 4 hours to 4 hours, each battery should be charged and these are main on off switches. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. So we have interfaced the sensor modules uh, to the Arduino, you know, as we discussed, and uh, this is the LM2596 voltage regulator, uh, which is used to provide the 5 volts DC output when we are providing the 12 volts DC input to this one, because the 5 volt DC is the output to the uh, through this. Uh, breadboard throughout the kit so this is a charging connection for this battery pack and here is a transistor board we are using to provide the intensity controlling to transfer the data from vehicle 1 to the vehicle 2 here directly we interface that to the unibot to this one right thank you